Hey, I am Ramya and welcome to chakra number two of the seven part chakra series. If you haven't watched my previous videos, then do go take a look and I'll put the description in, um, I'll put the link in the description above. So coming back to chakra number two, this is our sacral chakra and it's also called the Swadeshana. Now, Swadeshana is the seat of our feminine energy and you don't have to be a woman to uh, have this chakra. Both men and women have this chakra and um, this chakra deals with our emotions, it deals with our creativity. Um, another thing that it governs is our relationships, but then these are our secondary relationships. So it's, um, it's our friends. It's our work colleagues and how we deal with our cousins. So it's uh, slightly different from our root chakra relationships, which are our immediate family. Um, and it's also the chakra for pleasure. So this could be sexual pleasure. It could also be pleasure from, you know, being comfortable, being, you know, having luxurious items um, and just generally um, pampering yourself. Um, now, the element that governs the sacral chakra is water and water is, um, it's flowy, isn't it? And it just flows and that's one of the things that the sacral chakra governs in our life and how we live it is how fluid are you to the changes that come your way? How fluid are you to changing your plan if need be? Or are you someone that gets really angry when your plans don't go to, well, when things don't go to plan? Um, now, one of the great, well, actually going, coming back uh, a step is the location of this chakra. It is located a couple of inches below your belly button. And one of the organs it governs is your womb in women. And, you know, which makes perfect sense because where we talk about creativity and creating new ideas, or if it's a piece of uh, art, then creating new art or music, um, you know, your womb is the, where the creation happens, creation of a new life. And um, in men, it is the testicles. And um, one of the ways to really spruce up your chakra, if you are feeling highly emotional. I mean, we all have days like that. Or if you feel like you're just not getting a solution, um, or if you feel like, you know, you're just really tired and down, then you can actually sit quietly in the room and repeat these affirmations. So what I would uh, suggest is say something like, I surrender to this moment and I accept all that I have in my life and it is safe for me to receive and it is safe for my dreams to come true because this chakra is a great one for receiving. You know, we can have really amazing dreams of what we want to achieve in life. But then if there is a part of us that says, oh, actually, there are so many more people that are better than me. So maybe I don't deserve it. Then we're not really going to manifest it. So this chakra is a great one that helps us really believe in ourselves, but also really know that we deserve it. Well, that in a nutshell is what I was uh, uh, open to share, what I wanted to show, I can't talk, <laughs> what I wanted to share with you about the sacral chakra. So stay tuned because we are on our way to chakra number three and loads more information to come your way and uh, ways in which you can use these chakras to heal your life and to bring about things into your life that you really want. So stay tuned. May you stay blessed. Bye.